Well, imagine you're scheduled for surgery and your doctor asks if you'd like acupuncture as opposed to anesthesia, real anesthesia. Would you say yes? Well, more people are doing just that, believe it or not. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi reports on the growing trend. I, I'd like to give as little. This patient to, named Iris uh, is about to part with her gallbladder, but before doctors remove the troublesome so organ. I'm going to do two uh, auricular points, so two ear points. Anesthesiologist Dr. Mimi Wong sedates and Iris, not with a traditional drug, but with small needles. This is the P6 for nausea and vomiting. Acupuncture has become a normal part of these operations, says Iris's surgeon, Dr. Rebecca Knight. We use it to help with anxiety. A lot of people are anxious as they're coming into the operating room. It helps them relax. Oh, you too, Rebecca. And by using acupuncture during surgery, doctors are able to use fewer anesthetic drugs, which minimizes patient's side effects and speeds up their recovery. The acupuncture needles have put the patient into a deep meditative state. Traditional general anesthesia is being used merely to keep her there. But that's it. The Romans used it. They were very good at battlefield surgery, and they had to do something in those days to kill the pain. Dr. Joseph Brady relies on acupuncture in his traditional Chinese medicine practice. Despite its long history, he says this kind of therapy has long been frowned upon in the West. Years ago, when I first started doing this stuff, I'd go to a medical conference, and the doctors would treat me like a witch doctor with a grass skirt shaking a rattle. So you are. Now, Tu Yu Yu, a traditional medicine doctor, is China's first Nobel Prize in medicine winner. And in Denver, enrollment is up at the Colorado School of Traditional Chinese Medicine, where students learn about acupuncture, herb treatment, and more. I find the medicine to be uh, more effective than a lot of the Western modalities for what I'm interested in, which is more longer-term treatment. At a time of rising medical costs, Brady says traditional medicine is also cost-effective. And he points to recent studies on acupuncture. They found that for pain control, it works as good and better than all the opioid drugs that are out there. For Iris, she's just had a little baby. She's still nursing. And so there's a keen interest to try to reduce the amount of drug that not only Iris gets, but that gets um, then transmitted to her baby. When it was all over, Iris said the needles had done their job. I felt pretty calm, uh, more focused which was nice. You okay? Acupuncture anesthesia isn't for everyone, her doctor yeah. says, but more and more patients are going this route. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.